Alright, so some very exciting stories for you today. By the way, I'm Laurie. And I'm Rusty. We'll be your host for today's show. Well, the gang's all here, and it looks like they brought back some really great stuff for you this week. Coming up, Jill Berry goes scuba diving. Warren Bladen and Eric Stein travel to Williamstown, New Jersey to check out radio-controlled race cars. And Dave Ganey, still in the field working on his next story, tells us about a problem that affects a million youth. The subject, runaways. You know, Rusty, that's a story none of us should miss. Well, Jill, you're first. That's right, and I learned about scuba diving with Alexander Karras. Took some new friends along, and we had a grand old time. I brought back some footage with me, so let's take a look. Are you looking for some new and exciting adventures? Are you a daring and bold kind of person? Hi, I'm Jill, and today I'm going to be talking with Alexander Karras, who will give us a little taste of what it's like to experience water in a different way. It's called scuba diving. We're here with Greg, Kevin, and Kelly. Alexander, what makes scuba diving so much fun and interesting? The underwater world of scuba diving is interesting because there are many things that we can experience there. There are only two places in this whole universe where you can experience weightlessness. One is in outer space, and the other is in inner space. So whether it's a pool or an ocean or a lake, we can experience weightlessness, where we completely let go and we stand suspended, or lay suspended, or be upside down and be suspended. And it's a place where you can fly, because when you bring your arms down like this, you move in the direction that you, that you want to fly in. Where can you experience these things? You can dive the reefs in the Bahamas and Florida and see the coral reefs and the wild, beautiful looking fish. You can do the quarries in our own backyards. You can dive off of Ocean City on wrecks and in the Great Lakes as well. About the equipment, could you introduce us to that, please? Well, briefly, we've got Everybody Needs to Breathe. And SCUBA stands for Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus. And that's just what this is here. These gauges tell us how much air we've got in our tank, how deep we are, and what direction we're moving in. Because when you're underwater, you have no reference points on where you're headed. We need to breathe, so this goes in our mouth here. And you inhale. As you inhale, it supplies you air as you need it. It doesn't force it into your mouth, but as you need it, it gives you your air. This is a buoyancy control vest, and it helps you achieve neutral buoyancy. Because when you're wearing these weights, everyone has to wear a weight belt to take you down. If you don't wear a weight belt, you'll never go down. Okay? So you add your air in here, and you achieve neutral buoyancy, which is the state where you can neither float and rise or sink. You are weightless. Alexander, Kevin has volunteered most graciously to be our first victim, and he's just dying to do this, so let's go for it. Kevin, the biggest rule in scuba diving is never, ever hold your breath. So if you bite on the clamps here, you'll inhale deeply and exhale deeply. And you'll notice Kevin is not exhaling through his nose. Everything is being done by his mouth. Just turn around. Your feet are apart like this, like a little ballerina. Just jump in, holding your mask and breathing at all times, okay? Okay, class, now Kevin will demonstrate a proper entry. Go ahead, Kevin. Piece of cake. Well, I'm sure we all had a lot of fun today. I know I did. But Alexander, I'm sure there's many people out there that would just go out in their backyard and do this like it was nothing. Well, Jill, that would be a big no-no because there are courses available throughout the United States, and they're inexpensive, too. We made it look simple today, and Kevin did a great job in that pool. And take that course, get certified, get in the pool, and enjoy what the world has to offer in the world of scuba. That's good advice. I'd like to thank Kelly and Greg and Kevin for being with us today. And I'd also like to thank you again, Alexander. Bye. Well, we ought to rent a boat and head down to the Bahamas and go scuba diving. And, of course, we'd have to take a qualified instructor along. That's where Warren and I come in. I bet you didn't know we've been scuba diving before. Yeah, we love that bold and daring kind of stuff. We've got just the man for you two guys to talk to. Alexander, we're glad you're here. Thank you. Jill found out that there's absolutely no room for horseplay when it comes to scuba diving. That's right. And I understand you brought back some video that shows just how much of an adventure it can be. That's right. In the first clip, I've got... Uh, footage from uh, diving the submerged ancient ruins of Greece. During this dive, I recovered this rare and ancient coin. The second clip was shot in the Bahamas where we swam with a fish on the living coral reefs and it brought back some souvenirs. Uh, what is this? This is a shark. 
And this is a moray eel, and right here we have a little seahorse and a pina from the sunken Vuliachmeni in Greece. Well, where are some other exciting diving spots? Two hours out of Hawaii, you can uh, dive a MiG fighter and sit in its cockpit. And right off of both of our shores, we can dive uh, wrecks from schooners to big tankers. I'm sold. Let's go. Before you do, though, get certified, and then you can enjoy even quarries and lakes nearby your own home. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure. Whatever the subject is, we're on top of it. Well, gang, it looks like we've run out of time, but we'll be back next week, and I hope you'll join us when... We're on!